Hi, I'm Amy Romeo of the jewelry making and craft blog, amyromeo.com. And on this channel, I like to share fun and easy jewelry making and craft projects. Today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you quickly how to make these really popular faux leather claw clips for your hair. They're really easy to do. I've designed an SVG for you that's free. I'll let you know how you can grab that from my blog. And then I'll show you how to put these claw clips together. Really easy, fun faux leather project. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go over the tools and materials I'll be using to make these really pretty faux leather claw clips. So first, I'm gonna be cutting the faux leather shapes using my Cricut Maker and an SVG that I have free, which I'll let you know how you can grab in just a second. I'm using the Cricut Maker, but you could also use the Maker 3, the Explore Air 2, the Explore 3, or even the Cricut Joy. And that's because all five of these machines use the standard fine point blade, which is included in the box when you buy your Cricut, and that's the blade that I use when I'm cutting faux leather. Now, if you don't have a Cricut or you don't wanna cut the SVG with your Cricut, just know that you can also buy printed faux leather sheets that have the different claw clip shapes that you can hand cut with scissors. So I'll leave a link to that for you because I think that's a nice option if you don't have a Cricut. So the claw clips come in different sizes. I bought this pack on Amazon and it came with two different sizes of clips, a 4.1 inch and also a two inch. And then it came with an assortment of fall colors. So just make sure that you're checking the length of your claw clip on Amazon before you purchase them because the SVG is gonna match up to 4.1 and two inch claw clips. Then we're going to be using some pretty prints and patterns of faux leather. This has a nice dense, almost canvas backing. For this project, I don't recommend using something like chunky glitter or a faux leather that has a soft felt backing. And that's because you want the claw clip and the faux leather to be as flush together as possible. You don't want this faux leather sort of sticking up off of the clip. So I'll link to where I get all these beautiful prints and patterns. They cut really well and they're great for this project. I'll also use some blue painter's tape to tape my faux leather down to my purple strong grip mat to get a nice cut with the Cricut. And then I'll also use some craft scissors and I'll use a weeding tool. So to get the SVG for this project, you'll just visit amyromeo.com slash design 206. Give me your name and your email address and I will send the SVG and a link to this video over to you right away so you can go ahead and start making this project. So the big question that everyone asks is, what's the best glue for this project? And the answer is there really are two options. One is gonna be a good fabric or craft glue and the other is going to be more like a super glue. And the choice of glue really depends on how comfortable you are with gluing. So first, let's hop into Design Space. Let's cut out our shapes and then I'll talk more about the glue and show you my favorites when we're actually applying the faux leather to the claw clips. Okay, so starting on a blank canvas in Cricut Design Space, I'm going to click on Upload and then you'll click on Upload Image and you'll browse to where the unzipped SVG file is for the claw clips. It's important that you unzip the folder so you can access the claw clip SVG inside. I already have mine uploaded here, so I'm going to click on it and then click Add to Canvas. And then the basic shapes will appear. This is a really easy cut. I'm gonna cut both of these at the same time on the same mat. I'll just use two different materials and I'll show you how I do that on my mat when we get to the next step. But I don't wanna adjust the size on these. I wanna leave everything as is and I'll just click the Make It button and I'm cutting my material on a mat. And normally I would say mirror your mat because this is faux leather and it cuts in reverse. The reality is these shapes are perfectly symmetrical so it does not matter if you mirror the mat or not, but I will just sort of out of habit. Now what I'm going to do is drag my little shapes up sort of near each other so that I can use one piece of faux leather and get two shapes from it pretty easily. So I will end up cutting a piece of faux leather for this, the larger clip, about five inches wide and four inches tall. And then I'll move these two shapes over here onto this side and I will cut a piece of faux leather three inches wide and almost four inches tall for this project. So I'll go ahead and click continue. And the material setting I use to cut faux leather is the faux leather paper thin setting. 
If you don't have this setting bookmarked as a favorite like I do, you can click on Browse All Materials and search for it. Keep in mind, if you're using an Explore Air 2, you'll need to turn your dial to custom before you can locate this setting. So I'll click Faux Leather Paper Thin, and I always wanna choose More Pressure. That's gonna help us get a better cut. So let's hop back over to my overhead camera. We'll get our shapes cut out, and then we'll glue the faux leather onto the claw clips. So I've gone ahead and cut my faux leather down to size to those larger areas that I saw in the matte preview screen. And the reason that we cut this down is when we make it smaller and then we tape all around with the edges, there's less chance that the faux leather is going to shift and move. If you put a large piece of faux leather down, even though the mat is sticky, there still is a greater tendency for part of the faux leather to release up off the mat and shift during your cut, which you don't want. So I'm gonna place my trimmed piece of faux leather pretty side down on the mat, and you wanna press it really well with your fingers. If you have a brayer, you can roll over the faux leather to really make sure that it's stuck well to your mat. And then this is for the smaller size. I'll just put that down. And then with, I'm going to put blue painter's tape on all sides. And the reason I use blue painter's tape is masking tape can leave some residue on your mat or on your faux leather. And I'm reusing pieces of blue painter's tape. I use blue painter's tape a lot when I cut faux leather. And I, what I like to do is save the pieces and reuse them, I would say three, four, or five times to get the most use out of them. So once my material is down on the mat, I already have my material setting of faux leather paper thin selected. So I'll go ahead and load the mat into the Cricut and begin the cut. So once the cut has run through one time, before I unload the mat, I wanna use my sharp weeding tool and just check the edge of the cut and see if the cut went all the way through. And I do this just by lifting up an edge of the cut and sort of pulling a little and seeing if it pulls up cleanly. This one does, but that's because I'm using this really great faux leather that cuts well. It's a great idea to get into a practice and habit of doing this because you can repeat the cut if your material did not cut all the way through. The way to do that on the larger machines is just by pressing the cut button again, or if you're using the Cricut Joy, the option to rerun the cut will be on your screen in Design Space. So this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and unload my mat, and I'll carefully remove the shapes. So before you start gluing, you do wanna take a look at your pieces of faux leather, and you wanna just trim off any little loose, fuzzies or little strings, anything that's sticking out of the edge because you will see them when you glue down your faux leather and you don't want that. So just spend a minute doing that. I'm using some craft scissors. You could also use some curved scissors or embroidery scissors. So once you've done all of that, it's time to glue. And I told you that there are two suggestions that I have for glue. And one is going to be a craft glue or a fabric glue. I really like the Fabri-Tac because it's thick, so it stays in place when you're gluing onto your clip. And it's also a little forgiving where you can move your piece as needed. You can also wipe this up easily with a little wet paper towel if you get glue onto your clip and you wanna wipe it up. So this is gonna be a great option. I haven't yet tried using my Barely Art Glue, but I suspect it's going to be very similar to the Fabri-Tac. Both of these products are designed to glue fabric to plastic, so they're gonna be a great option for you, especially if you're new to gluing or if you're not very confident in your gluing skills. Then I wanted to mention, if you wanted to use Fabri-Tac a lot in this project or projects that are very detailed like these, you can buy these little glue bottles on Amazon that have a very detailed precision tip, and then you can really get the glue exactly where you want it to be. Now, I've heard some questions about if you need to rough up the edge of the claw clip before you glue, and I've found that that's not necessary. You also don't wanna scratch up the paint finish on the claw clip. But I've found that these glues, even though they aren't super glues, they stick really well to the plastic without sanding. Then if you are a more confident gluer, and you're really good at getting the glue exactly where you want it to be with no seepage, then I would recommend a super glue type glue, but one that is a thick or a gel formula. So I really like this one, the Loctite Super Glue. See how it says gel control at the bottom? This is a gel formula, so it doesn't run. 
And then this is stick fast. This is the thick formula. So again, it's a super glue type glue and you, it stays in place when you put it on something and it's gonna dry very quickly. The drawback with this is if it comes out of the edges of your faux leather at all, you will get those white marks that super glue leaves and you just can't remove them. So I would say first practice with a glue like this that's more forgiving, but does take a little bit longer to dry and then graduate to a super glue with it's either a gel formulation or a thick formulation. So I've got my little cut shapes and we're ready to glue. So I just wanna show you a couple different options here. The success of this project for you is gonna come down to how well you can glue on this area without getting the glue off of the edges or inside this area. So this does take a little bit of practice. I'm gonna start with using the Loctite super glue. And what I want to do is sort of first take a look at where my material goes on the clip and make a note sort of where the edges are. Now when I put the glue, I want the glue to come up to the edge as much as possible of the faux leather, but I don't want it to come out the side. So what I want to do is put the glue on the inner edge right around this sort of cutout here. I'm just squeezing, doing a very thin line. And I know that my shape, let me see if you can see that. There we go. I know that my shape comes down a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little more glue here on the bottom. You just don't wanna to get too close to the edge here with your glue because it is going to seep out and we don't want it to come out of the faux leather. So what I'm gonna do now is just place my shape on top here and this is just like super glue, so once you set it down, it will want to stay. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking my finger and I'm pressing where I know I have the glue and I'm sort of pressing it outward. And that's gonna help the glue that's underneath push up to the edge of the faux leather without seeping out. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. And the inside, is very nice and clean. You only see the material, you don't see any glue seepage. So you would just repeat that on the other side for your clip. So obviously a drawback is if you get any of that glue on the outside, it's very difficult to clean it up off the edges and you will have that white super glue mark. So let me show you what it looks like when we use the Fabri-Tac. I'll use a darker clip so it's a little easier to see. And again, same concept, we wanna keep the glue as close as possible to this inside cutout shape. And we're gonna let gravity do its thing and push the glue out toward the edges. This glue that has the larger nozzle is a little harder to place it exactly where you want it to be. So that's why I recommend getting one of those nozzle tip bottles from Amazon if you're gonna use this glue for projects like this a lot. Okay, so we've got our glue. And what I wanna do again is just place this on and use my fingers to sort of push the glue a little bit from where it's at out to the edges. Now, if you do have glue seepage using this glue, it's very easy to clean up just with a damp paper towel or even just with your finger. You also have a little more wiggle room with this where if you find you need to shift your material, you'll be able to do that where you won't the minute you glue this one with the super glue type glue. There we go, and I think that looks pretty good. If you have any little parts that stick up, again, if you have a precision bottle like this, you can get up under the edge and just apply a tiny bit of glue. But if you use the technique where you're pushing the glue out with your fingers toward the edges, I think you'll find that you get a really nice tight seal. Now, another thing you can do is, because this does take a little bit longer to dry, 
I would say about 30 minutes before you can really handle it and start messing around with it. I would put it upside down and then just kind of let it sit somewhere so that the weight of the clip is helping keep that glue pressed up onto the clip area. And then you can do the other side. So I hope that was helpful. I've seen so many questions in Facebook groups and things about how to do these clips. So I wanted to design an SVG for you and show you quickly how I've been gluing them to get the best results. I hope you enjoyed this project and you're going to make some faux leather claw clips yourself. Remember you can grab the free SVG that I designed. Just visit amyromeo.com slash design 206 and I'll email it over to you right away. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.